On today's legal brief, and it's a perfect time to talk about maritime law. Under maritime law, every country has 12 miles of territorial waters in which its laws apply to ships within those 12 miles. Or within 12 miles of the U.S. shore, American laws will apply. A baby born within 12 miles of the U.S. shore on a ship to foreign parents by U.S. law is an American citizen and therefore that baby is indeed an anchor baby. While in international waters, more than 12 miles away from shore, you are only subject to the laws of the ship and the ship is subject to the laws of the country in which it is registered. That's why when you're on a cruise ship, you can do some things that you couldn't do if you were in the United States of America. Most of the big cruise ships fly Bahamian flags or are registered in the Bahamas, and therefore you're allowed to gamble once you're 12 miles away from the U.S. shores because the Bahama laws apply and Bahama laws allow you to gamble. An interesting tidbit, the only place in the world where no laws apply to you at all is where you are more than 12 miles from shore and not on a boat. You can do anything you want. Kind of like the movie The Purge. There's always an exception to every rule of law and the exception in this case is piracy. Historically, piracy has been considered such a heinous crime by the international community that it is considered the enemy of humanity. Piracy being an enemy of humanity is a crime that any country in the world anywhere is allowed to have jurisdiction and control and to enforce. In 2009, an American ship was attacked by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean, and even though it occurred in the Indian Ocean, the U.S. military went, killed three of the pirates, and arrested one of them. This event was later made into a movie starring Tom Hanks. Three of the pirates were summarily executed by Navy SEALs, and one pirate is currently being held in Indiana, but the Somali government has no say over it because U.S. jurisdiction was enforced in international waters. So that's it for today's brief on maritime law. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe below and ahoy matey.